Hello, I'm Dr. Wickham Simons. I'm an obesity medicine specialist and I practice in the Triangle area of North Carolina. This is Obesity Medicine Perspective. It's a video series designed to educate patients and providers about obesity medicine. And prior to now, the videos I've done have been talking about the role of insulin as a fat storage hormone and fat as an organ and how when you accumulate too much fat that this uh, can be a real problem from a disease standpoint. And so if you want to refresh your memory, you can watch some of those other videos. The last video I did, we stopped talking uh, uh, about a drug called metformin. And metformin is a drug that can be added to an appetite suppressant as part of a diet program. Um, and metformin exerts its chief mechanism of action by lowering your insulin level. So metformin is a drug that's been around a long time. It's been around, I think, about 50 years. Uh, so it's uh, an older drug that's proven, we know a lot about it, and it's very effective. It sensitizes your cell membranes to insulin so that insulin can pass very freely from uh, the serum inside the cell, and it lowers that insulin level. And when the insulin level is lower, you can think, my fat storage signal is lower. And so when combined with an appetite suppressant, uh, and when you're, when you're trying to do a, a diet that restricts carbohydrate, it causes more weight loss and more, and more importantly, more fat loss. So we use a lot of it in our practice. Uh, some reasons you, well, the chief reason you might not want to take metformin, a, a contraindication to it would be if you had uh, a renal insufficiency or your kidneys weren't functioning correctly. And this is something our providers can screen you for. It doesn't apply to most of my patients. Uh, the main side effect of it, if you were to take it, is um, GI upset, like cramping and diarrhea, if you were to take it on an empty stomach. This is the kind of drug that you should take on a full stomach to avoid that problem. And those are really the two uh, main points uh, to remember about it. Uh, so it's something that you, you take with a meal and um, you add it to your regimen of an appetite suppressant and a low carbohydrate diet and um, it produces uh, more fat loss. It's a drug that we use a lot of, and it's very um, inexpensive because um, it's generic and it's been around a long time. So if you are the kind of person who you think is insulin resistant, maybe you have a large deposition of abdominal fat, you intensely crave carbohydrates, uh, these are signs that you're, you're insulin resistant, and you should inquire at your next office visit about the use of metformin and ask one of our providers, hey, is this right for me? Uh, it's really inexpensive and it might be something that we could add to your regimen that would be very helpful for you uh, in the long run. A common question I get about it is if I start metformin, will I have to stay on it in the long term? And the answer to that question is no. It can be a short term thing that you can use while you're losing weight and uh, while you, when you lose some of that weight, you're uh, able to come off of it just fine. So it's not something you have to do for the long term. It can be stopped, uh, uh, started and stopped at any time. So uh, until we talk the next time, I'll give you uh, information and tools, and uh, you give me effort, and together we can overcome obesity.